trees affect our mental health as well. Research indicates that the presence of green foliage increases attention spans and decreases stress levels. It's even been shown that hospital patients with views of brick walls recover more slowly than those with views of trees. Fortunately, many cities are full of views like this, and that's no accident. As early as the 18th century, city planners began to embrace the importance of urban trees. In 1733, Colonel James Oglethorpe planned the city of Savannah, Georgia to ensure that no neighborhood was more than a two-minute walk from a park. After World War II, Copenhagen directed all new development along five arteries, each sandwiched between a park. This layout increased the city's resilience to pollution and natural disasters. And urban trees don't just benefit people. Portland's Forest Park preserves the region's natural biodiversity, making the city home to various local plants, 112 bird species, and 62 species of mammals. No city is more committed to trees than Singapore. Since 1967, Singapore's government has planted over 1.2 million trees, including those within 50-meter-tall vertical gardens called super trees. These structures sustain themselves and nearby conservatories with solar energy and collected rainwater. Trees and vegetation currently cover over 50% of Singapore's landmass, reducing the need for air conditioning and encouraging low-pollution transportation. By 2050, it's estimated that over 65% of the world will be living in cities. City planners can lay an eco-friendly foundation, but it's up to the people who live in these urban forests to make them homes for more than humans. Gotta find my way to you Even though you're next to me No matter what I do Your heart is drifting out